This video will cover the VSI Equine Palpation Colic Simulator features and assembly. For more specific instructions regarding the installation of the palpation panel assembly, please watch our dedicated Equine Therio Genealogy video. The Equine Palpation Colic Simulator comes standard with the neck venipuncture and can be used separately from the body with the VSI adjustable stand. It is also available for purchase as a standalone unit. Here is the abdominocentesis or belly tap plug, which is a replaceable part. It has a fluid reservoir for injections and features a palpable linea. It snaps into place and sits flush with the belly of the horse and is held in by a plastic ring and two wing nuts. This is the equine palpation assembly, which is also a replaceable part. It has a soft perineum panel with anal and vulva openings which is mounted to an ABS plastic ring via plastic fasteners. This is the inflatable vinyl rectum which is inflated through this tube with the provided pump. This is the equine uterus. The ovaries are attached using these small openings at the end of the uterine horns. The broad ligament is represented by the fabric and mounts to the body wall with the attached magnets. It also has a palpable cervix. The horse has a replica plastic pelvis that sits in the dedicated mounts and has one Phillips screw in the base of the pelvic floor. The magnets attached to the broad ligament connect with those located in the body wall to suspend the uterus. There are three different types of ovaries provided, anestrus, estrus, and estrus with follicles. The tubes on each ovary simply insert into the end of the uterine horn until there's approximately 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters of tube showing. The attached ligament is then tucked behind the magnet. A 3 meter long latex tube represents the small intestine and is inflated with the provided pump. Be careful not to over inflate the intestine. Three loops are created and pulled through the small intestine mount, which is then placed inside the horse body. A replica spleen and left kidney are attached with a representation of the rhinosplenic ligament. Both the kidney and spleen have magnets which connect with those situated within the horse's left body wall. A palpable aorta is attached to the dorsal wall of the horse. The pump may be squeezed to simulate a pulse while a student is palpating. To set up the venipuncture unit on the horse, take the hose hanging from the horse's neck and feed it through the top hole in the bulkhead of the horse body. To attach the neck to the body, the rectangular metal tube on the neck simply slides into the metal receiver on the horse. The jugular veins are pressurized with the provided fluid bag and do not need gravity to function. Attach the hose from the neck to the bag and inflate it with the attached pump. On the initial setup, lift the bag while depressing the valves at the top of the horse neck until some fluid is released. Then reclip the bag inside the horse. The veins are represented by 50 centimeter long, thin walled latex tubing which can endure multiple punctures. The head uses the same attachment type as the neck and simply slides onto the receiver in the neck. The horse also features an open mouth for applying a bridle. The neck hide or covering is a piece of fabric that slides over the neck to cover the veins and intramuscular pads. The mane is simply attached with Velcro. The equine GI tract is an inflatable latex unit. Care must be taken not to overinflate any of the five compartments. The transverse colon connects here. This is the cecum, and here is the pelvic flexure. To install it, fold the unit as shown and place it into the horse. The black tube connects to a D-ring located in the dorsal wall within the horse. Veterinary Simulator Industries products are proudly designed and manufactured in Canada. For more information, please visit our website and thanks for watching.